Hey guys, welcome back to your bears. And today I want to do two videos. So go check out the other video after you watch the, this one. And today I'm going to share about my thoughts about the hate going around on YouTube. So to start off, I'm going to talk about the diss tracks that are going around about everyone and obviously they, people started doing diss tracks on other people just, you know, for fun. It wasn't to hurt anyone or to hurt anyone's feelings. And now people are just taking it way too seriously, I think, in my opinion. People are just trying to get views off of drama, and I don't think that's very cool. Um, I think it's better if you make compliments to each other, or you're like, hey, yeah, you get views, I do too. We're on the same level. Instead of saying, you know, I'm higher up than you, you just do it for this and this and this, because it's kind of rude, just in my opinion. Um, the hate that's going around on YouTube just makes me feel disgusted. Actually, very disgusted. I hate it. I just hate having to go on my YouTube app, trying to film, and right there, right then and there, even those nice YouTubers, I'm going to get a notification that a new just came out. And I'm going to be like, wow. I don't think there's a need to make diss tracks. I think there's never really a need and people like want to express their feelings about other people and make it public and I think you shouldn't. I think you should keep certain things to yourself and certain things differently because certain things you can like keep to yourself and in between you and that person and exchange feelings about what you're trying to say and share it with maybe a couple people that you trust instead of going and saying it to like every person you literally know beyond that people you don't know everyone thinks that they're so cool because you're going to get so much views and you're gonna, people are gonna be like, wow, that's really cool, and that's all they do it for is views, and the drama probably isn't even real. Let's be honest, we're addicted, addicted to watching people do their things while we sit in a chair and do nothing and feel like we're in that space. I'm being really honest, and I just feel like the internet has just trying to manipulate us because when my parents were kids, and I'm sure when your parents were kids, they didn't have devices or social media, really. I mean, they had a phone, but that was pretty much it. And, I mean, it's disgusting what the internet has turned us all into. Because... Even if you're at like a public event or a sad event or a happy event, everyone's pulling out their phone trying to get pictures instead of actually listening to what's really going on. And I think people overuse their electronics. I think we should limit it down to certain numbers or certain time of day so that you're actually not doing stuff because I know I get like really bad headaches or I get nauseous when I'm on my device too long and that tells me I've been on it way too long and just stop being on it that long. I've been really trying to actually limit down my time that I'm on my device because it's better to actually watch TV than be on your device whether it's four feet away or whether it's closer because TV is a bigger screen and you don't have headphones in or you don't it's just different and I personally think that we all should take time to appreciate the love on YouTube and social media and not the hate on social media because the hate turns us into people just watching drama whenever things come out 
the love turns us into people different and trying to make the world a better place rather than a place full of hate where if you see someone you find the ugliest thing about them and tell it straight up to their face and everyone around you. I really think that this is a video that you can relate to and share this with your friends and share this with anyone who you feel needs this conversation because I know I did and I know I need to express my feelings to you guys because I know that I started off on YouTube so little I didn't even get 10 views and that didn't matter to me. I just loved making stuff and sitting down and talking about my feelings until the next video I published got 112 views which was a big thing for me and yeah that's still pretty small compared to a lot of big youtubers but to the people who are filming it it really appreciates even if it's hate views even if it's people just trying to make views off of me like it's still a big thing to have people because they feel like they're getting smiles. I don't feel like I'm getting views. I don't feel like I'm getting eyeballs staring at a screen. I feel like I'm getting smiles and that's what I want to make. I want to make videos where people smile at what they see. So share this with your friends and your family that just need that extra boost of confidence to get out of their personal zone. I love you guys and go check out the next video that I'm posting. Mm.